Dear students, welcome to the problem solving session on area using polar coordinates. In our previous session, the problem is given in Cartesian coordinates. We understand that some problems cannot be solved as it is in Cartesian coordinates. So, we get the help of polar coordinates and we use this formula to convert from Cartesian to polar coordinates. In today's session, we are not going to do any change of variables, nothing. Already the problem is given in polar coordinates and then we are going to find the area. The formula for area is very direct, double integral r into dr into d theta. You can see the formula here. So, just the problem is already given in polar form. We have to draw the diagram that is going to be my step 1. Then step 2, I am going to find the limits. Step 3, I am going to use the formula, find the area of the given problem. That is it students. Only we are going to use 3 steps. So, directly we go to the problem. Find the area of the cardioid r is equal to a into 1 plus cos theta. You may hear this word cardioid somewhere in your school days. Hope you remember. Cardiac muscle. Cardiac muscle is a special kind of muscle. Our heart is made up of cardiac muscle. Right? We take rest when we are exhausted. But cardiac muscle will never take rest. When it take rest, we are in rest in peace. Right? So, there is no biological connectivity between cardioid and cardiac muscle that is heart. Simply, the shape of the cardioid is look like almost heart shape. So, people keep it as cardioid. So, there are two cardioids. One is R is equal to A into 1 plus cos theta. The other one is R is equal to A into 1 minus cos theta. Now, I can show the image. So, as I said, first we are going to draw the image. Step 1, we are going to draw the image. This is my cardioid students. So, now you see it is symmetric about the horizontal line. The upper half and the lower half are symmetrical. They are equal. So, to find the area of cardioid, I don't want to find the complete cardioid. If I find the area of upper half, I can multiply twice of the upper half of the given region. So, now this is my cardioid. I want to draw the strip in polar coordinate. From the figure, it is very easy to see that my starting point is here. Now, I want to draw the strip. So, therefore, I can draw the strip like this. So, this is the strip for the given cardioid. Instead of finding the whole cardioid, I can find only the upper half of the cardioid and multiply with 2, I will get the whole region. For this, now I want to find the limits. So, it is very easy student. Just I am shading the yellow region. See, it start from this horizontal line that is x-axis and it is covering this region like this and it is covering whole two quadrants. So, my angle is going to be 180 degree. So, theta is from 0 to theta is equal to pi. Done. And then the strip is from the origin that is r equal to 0 and it is touching the cardioid. r is equal to a into 1 plus cos theta. Therefore, step 2 is going to be very easy. I can directly write my limit. r is equal to 0 to r is equal to a into 1 plus cos theta. theta equal to 0 to pi. Now, step 3 area. So, since we consider the area as 2 times upper half, it is very easy for me to evaluate. Therefore, my limits are 2 times 0 to pi and 0 to a into 1 plus cos theta r into dr into d theta. And very important student, it need not to be always you take upper half. Suppose you are considering the whole cardioid, then the angle covered is 360 degree. Here you have to take theta equal to 0 to theta equal to 2 pi. It's up to you. Next, we are going to integrate this. Therefore, integrating r with respect to dr, I am going to get r square by 2. 2, my upper limit is a into 1 plus cos theta, lower limit is 0 d theta. So, applying the upper and lower limit, we get a square by 2 into 1 plus cos theta whole square d theta. Now, I can cancel this to 2 and I will take this a square outside. Now, we have to evaluate this. Expanding this, we will be getting 1 plus cos square theta plus 2 cos theta d theta. I can easily integrate this 1 and cos theta, but I don't know what is cos square theta, but we know the formula. What is it? Cos square theta is equal to 1 plus cos 2 theta by 2. Let us apply that formula and simplifying, we can easily get the answer. So, now let us apply the formula and we have to simplify this. Don't integrate. A square integral 0 to pi 1 plus 2 cos theta plus 1 by 2 plus cos 2 theta by 2 d theta. Now, 1 plus 1 by 2, I can club this as 3 by 2. Now, integrating this, a square 3 theta by 2 cos theta integration is going to be sin theta. So, 
டூ சைன் தீட்டா பிளஸ் சைன் டூ தீட்டா டிவைடட் பை டூ இன்டு டூ மை லிமிட் இஸ் ஜீரோ டூ ஃபைவ் சி இயர் ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் வி நோ தட் சைன் என் பை இஸ் ஆல்வேஸ் ஜீரோ ப்ரொவைடட் என் பிலாங்ஸ் டு எனி இன்டீஜர் தேர் போர் திஸ் இஸ் கோயிங் டு பி ஜீரோ அண்ட் திஸ் இஸ் கோயிங் டு பி ஜீரோ பிகாஸ் வி நோ சைன் ஜீரோ இஸ் ஆல்சோ ஜீரோ ஸோ ஒன்லி திஸ் டர்ம் எக்ஸிஸ்ட் வென் யூ சப்ஸ்டியூட் தி அப்பர் லிமிட் வில் பி கெட்டிங் தி ஆன்சர் ஏ ஸ்கொயர் இன்டு த்ரீ பை டிவைடட் பை டூ தேர் போர் மை ஏரியா ஆஃப் கார்டியாய்டு த்ரீ பை ஏ ஸ்கொயர் பை டூ ஸோ வி ஃபவுண்ட் த ஏரியா ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் இன் எக்ஸாம் சம்டைம் இன்ஸ்டெட் ஆஃப் ஆஸ்கிங் ஒன் பிளஸ் காஸ் தீட்டா தே கேன் ஆஸ்க் ஒன் மைனஸ் காஸ் தீட்டா இட் இஸ் வெரி obvious same thing only the diagram is going to left hand side so you can easily remember r is equal to a into 1 plus cos theta plus means right hand side minus means left hand side you can remember so the cardioid looks like this now as usual the lower limit is zero and the upper limit is the cardioid if you consider the upper half i can multiply by 2 and i can easily write the limit and evaluate it and i am going to get the same answer so this is my limit and this is my area and i will get area is equal to 3 pi a square by 2 that's it student next we are going to see one more interesting problem calculate the area between the circles r is equal to 2 sin theta and r is equal to 4 sin theta right now i don't want to go much deep on the theory so i'll just give the idea how to draw the circles r is equal to a sin theta and r is equal to a cos theta if it is r is equal to a sin theta from here you can see the circle goes like this if it is r is equal to a cos theta my circle looks like horizontally so this is a cos theta this is a sin theta now here two circles are given to us one is 2 sin theta the other one is 4 sin theta you should not mislead that these two are concentric circle they are not concentric here the hold is here so 2 sin theta means a little smaller radial length if you go for 4 sin theta it will start from the same place the length may be little bigger this is my diagram similar case if they ask for cos theta also a smaller one looks like this and the bigger one looks like this hope you understand so we directly go into the problem first we have to draw the two circles since we have 2 sin theta and 4 sin theta the diagram looks like this and what is the question as to us calculate the area bounded between the two circles so the area bounded between these two circles is this so i want to find the area outside the r equal to 2 sin theta but inside r is equal to 4 sin theta now i want to draw the strip so my strip looks like this it start from 2 sin theta and it's moving to 4 sin theta therefore obviously my limit is going to be r is equal to 2 sin theta to r is equal to 4 sin theta now we have to find the angle so two options students either you take the full region or you take two times right off of the region this given diagram is symmetric about this vertical line so instead of finding the whole region i can take only one half if i found the region of that i can multiply with two so if i am taking only one half now you see here my angle covered by this region is 90 degree it is very easy so therefore theta varies from 0 to pi by 2 always we have to write the radian so this is done students so i know my diagram i know my limits let us crack the problem as we see in the diagram now i am going to write my area as two times the right side right off or whatever the wordings you like you can write therefore my area is going to be two times integral 0 to pi by 2 that is the limit we found and then for r we have 2 sin theta to 4 sin theta area formula is r into dr into d theta now we are going to integrate this integration of r is r square by 2 when you apply the limit we will be getting 16 sin square theta minus 4 sin square theta we have 2 in the denominator d theta i can cancel this 2 16 sin square theta minus 4 sin square theta is going to be 12 sin square theta students so integral 0 to pi by 2 12 sin square theta d theta so two options for you either you can put this as 1 minus cos 2 theta divided by 2 then 12 times integral 0 to pi by 2 1 minus cos 2 theta divided by 2 d theta when you integrate will be getting even i will take this to outside while you integrate this will be getting theta minus sin 2 theta divided by 2 integral 0 to pi by 2 see here 
if i substitute pi by 2 here it will become sin pi sin pi is 0 sin 0 is also 0 so this term is totally 0 so 12 by 2 is 6 then when you apply upper limit here theta is going to be pi by 2 so 3 pi this is my answer students this is method 1 the second method is i have already thought in change of variables if your limits of the integration is 0 to pi by 2 if you have sin power n theta d theta or cos power n theta d theta i said this trick use this formula when it is even i can write this as pi by 2 to n if it is odd I have to write 1 to n. So I said the technique very simply. Integral 0 to pi by 2. If you have cos square theta d theta or sin square theta d theta, you start with pi by 2 if the power is even. And write 1, 2, 3, 4 like this. 1, 2. Here the power is 2. I stop here. If your power is, suppose if your power is 6, then what I have to do? pi by 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. You have to make fraction and multiply with this. This is your solution. So my case is simply power 2. Therefore, I will write this as pi by 2 into 1 by 2. So 4, 4 get cancelled. We will be getting 3 pi. This is my area. So the area between the two circles r is equal to 2 sin theta and r is equal to 4 sin theta. It is going to be 3 pi and the similar way they can ask for 2 cos theta and 4 cos theta the numbers need not to be the same they may change the number r is equal to 3 cos theta to 9 cos theta whatever it is you can easily crack this but only the diagram will change here we have to find this region and i have to draw my strip like this and then i know my limits also you can easily crack this problem student just considering upper half of the given circle then your limits are going to be the same only instead of sin theta cos theta is going to change the same assumptions and you will be getting the same answer 3 pi students hope you understand thank you for watching we hope you found this video helpful stay tuned for more and keep up the great work subscribe to our channel and see you in the next video bye bye